Hi there guys, this is Benjamin here from Singapore and welcome back to my channel. Now every week I'll attempt to upload videos pertaining to making money online, especially in the area of email marketing, social media marketing, as well as running of paid ads. So if this is something of interest to you, please do consider to subscribe, like this video, as well as turn on your notification bell so that you will be notified at first notice whenever I upload videos like this for your benefits. So pertaining to this particular video, I'm going to continue the series whereby we talk about how to use system.io. So if you have not watched the previous series, please click around anywhere in these videos so that you can actually go back to my previous videos and have a better look at it. All right. So the objective of today's video is about bridge page. So how exactly do we create a bridge page in system.io? Now, the technicalities of building up this bridge page is very easy. However, what I need to share with you guys now is rather the theory behind the usage of a bridge page and why is it important and on certain circumstances, why is it that there's no need for you to even do the bridge page? All right. So without further ado, let's hop on to our computer. All right. The normal process, as you guys can see over here, is on the left, you have the traffic and the traffic can come from paid ads. It can come from social medias like free traffic, so and so forth. All right. So from the traffic, you channel into your squeeze page. And in the previous video, I already mentioned about how to create a squeeze page in system.io. So if you have not visited that, please go ahead again, click around somewhere in this video to go back to the previous um, part of this series. All right. So the objective of a squeeze page is to collect information from your traffic, especially their email address. And why do we need an email address? Because we're going to embark into the email marketing campaigns. All right. Then from there, once they have opted into your squeeze page, they will actually be brought to this thing called an offer page. Now, this is the normal process. How about the enhanced process that we're going to talk about today? So the enhanced process is same thing. You have the traffic that will go into your squeeze page. But before they actually land to the sales or, or rather the offer pages, we are going to insert this additional page called the bridge page. Okay. So what are the advantages of using a bridge page? You might be asking. Well, the advantages is very simple. Over four, uh, There are four main advantages over here, as you can see. First one is to build your brand. Secondly, showing certain testimonials about the offer that they're going to see. Thirdly, is to increase quality engagements and click rates. And finally, increasing potential sales. Now, if you look at point number three, why do I say quality engagements and click rates? Because end of the day, what we want is a high conversion rate. Like for example, out of 100 people who visit the sales offer page, can at least 10 or more people purchase the offer. So this is what we, uh, I mean by quality engagements. Okay. Now, one of the main disadvantage of bridge page, which is what I'm going to share with you guys here now, is if you look at the previous section over here, right? Let me go back again to here. So based on the enhanced process, as you can see, we have four different stages here. Traffic, squeeze page, bridge page, and finally to the sales offer page. But if you consider very carefully, there are only three arrows, all right? So every single arrow will lead to a potential conversion drop. Meaning to say, let's say you have 1,000 traffic that enters into your squeeze page. Not everybody will obtain their information for you. They might actually choose to drop off. This is called a squeeze page conversion. Finally, people who have opted into your squeeze page, when they land on your bridge page, all right? Let me just say, after they have converted, they have given you the information on the, on, on the squeeze page and they reach the bridge page. Now, coming to the final arrow before they reach the offer page. Again, if your bridge page is not being done properly, it can create another further conversion drop. So there could be people who are potentially interested in the offer and are willing to purchase the offer, but because your bridge page is not done well, so that is where they're not even able to see the final offer. All right, so you're actually losing potential sales over there. Okay, so when it comes to a bridge page, now my main suggestion always is if you want to create a bridge page, it's best for you to show your face. All right, best for you to do a, a video testimonials. All right, introducing yourself, telling people how good the offer is, how you have personally benefited from the offer, showing certain testimonials, so and so forth, instead of doing a faceless videos. Okay, because if you if, if, if you can show the faceless videos, it's not able to build the brand awareness that we showed over here. 
okay, the brand awareness. So what exactly is this brand that we are talking about? You see, when it comes to making money online, right, the main brand that you're actually building is yourself because you are the person that they are going to trust, they are going to like, and they are going to purchase whatever you recommend, all right? So when you're doing making money online, if you want to really go about showing videos, um, please show your face. Now, in, in the event you're apprehensive about, well, I don't look good, I don't speak good English, so and so forth, don't worry because honestly, these are all unfounded fears. No one is going to really bother about how you look, whether you're thin, fat like myself, handsome, ugly, male, female. They don't care. All they really want to care is they're dealing with an authentic human being on the other end of the internet. Okay? So, without further ado, let us go straight into talking about how exactly do we create a squeeze or rather a bridge page within system.io. Now, Pertaining to the previous section whereby we talk about this YT sample squeeze page, all right? So this is where we left off. This is the squeeze page that we were talking about, all right? And this is how the squeeze page will look like. Let me show you guys. Very simple squeeze page. Do you want to make money while you sleep? Fill out the form below to learn how. They are going to put in the email address, hit the submit button. So based on the existing funnel, all right, there is no bridge page being um, designed. Then... What we're going to do now is to add in this additional step. So over here, click on add step. And I'm going to name this bridge. All right. Over the type, choosing the type, uh, the, the step type, we are going to choose the thank you page. This one. All right. Thank you page. Save. So as you can see, the bridge page has already been created. It's called a thank you page. Okay. Generally, a thank you page is created when people actually purchase something and you're going to say thank you to them and guide them the further instructions. However, remember that all landing pages can be customized according to your preference. All right, so we're going to scroll down and see which is the one that we like. Um, try to make the bridge page as simple as possible again. Okay, so we're going to uh, talk about, let's say something about... Um, we're going to do our video testimonial. So we're going to find something that we can insert a video. And even if the template does not have an existing video, like for example, this one. Okay, let me show you the preview. This one, you don't see any video testimonials. But in system.io, you can always insert a video element. Don't worry about that. All right, I'm trying to find something that is easy. Let's see. Uh, okay, I think this one is good. Okay, we're going to select this one. So now the step configuration, we have renamed it as bridge page. Over here, you can change it to bridge, right? Just like that. Now hit the green color button to save the final step so that you are actually saving the URL path. Now, next thing is we're going to hit this pencil icon and edit the elements. Okay, so over here, we're, we're going to say thank you again. Um, or rather, I'll say thank you for providing your information. Okay, because on the bridge page, we ask for that information, right? Now, this one looks a little bit too big. We're going to highlight the whole thing, move on to the left. You see that there's a font size over here. We can always downsize it to maybe like, this is too small, something like this is good, 43, okay? So all these templates, all these elements, we're going to change it, all right? Um, for example, I'm going to say, okay, I don't need this button here now. Let's just delete it away. Mm, I don't need this entire stuff here. Okay, I don't need this entire stuff here. I'm going to add a video element. So on the left, if you scroll down, you will see this video element here. Okay, drag and pull until you see there is a blue line somewhere around. All right, you can decide on where you want to drop the video element. So for my case, I'll try to drop it here. So this is where the video element will come. All right. Uh, let me see. Over here, we don't need all this stuff also. Let me just delete away the whole row. But I'm going to insert a button. Okay, I'm going to insert a button over here. And in this button, I'm going to say, click here to proceed. All right, so let me say, when, once they click on this button, they will be brought to the offer page. Um, Subtext, we don't need that. Just highlight the whole thing and delete it away. Right, we're going to make this entire button long. Let's change it to full width. Mm, let me see. Looks good so far. All right. So in case you're wondering, Ben, how exactly do I do this video? 
Now you can actually go to a website like OBS Studio, which is the one that I personally use to record all my YouTube videos. Do have a very simple demonstration like this, okay? And um, from there, you can actually save your video clip into an MP4 file. And straight away, once you hit into this video element, right? One thing good about System.io is you don't have to use softwares like Vimeo, um, YouTube, you know, to get the link so they upload the videos. There's no need to do that. Because within System.io, for the video type, if you click on here, it allows you to upload the file directly. Of course, you can use custom embed code like Vimeo or YouTube to do that. All right, but for my case, usually I just upload the file straight away okay anyway there's no storage uh there's no storage limitations even if you're on the free plan okay uh okay now over here again this is something that i already explained in the previous uh first series where we talk about a squeeze page which is when you're over here okay click on open url and type in your affiliate link of the sales page that you are trying to promote for the squeeze page we are we are using send form and over here we are creating to a custom URL because we want to collect the information into system.io especially the email address right but when it comes to the bridge page don't use send form just straight away um, open URL and key, key in your affiliate link over here so this concludes today's video very simple when it comes to building up the whole bridge page now of course the next thing you want to do is just to save the changes over here and on the right exit the door okay so you have the squeeze page done and the bridge page is already done okay so this will conclude in terms of how do you actually build a funnel within system.io and in the next series and we'll talk about the emails all right how do we use the emails function within system okay see you around